Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana's channel, my name is Shanks and today we're gonna continue with the evil campaign in the Shadow and Flame mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1, this time in 4K resolution. The other videos, for whatever reason, couldn't be recorded in the 4K resolution, but this one is definitely in 4K. This time we are on the map Amon Hen, we have the Isengard army as we know, and let's get it started. Amon Hen was once the northern guard post of Gondor, it now lies in ruin, as will all of this land in due time. Rest in peace, Christopher Lee. Okay, guys, so let's go. The who possess the ring hide in these forests. Search to surround the area for the hobbits. Kill anything that gets in your way. Okay, so we have not only uh, Lourdes, but we have also Ugluk, another new hero for the Isengard faction in this beautiful Shadow and Flame mod. We have also the Urukai uh, and Uruk Scouts. These are not Urukai, these are Uruk Scouts. They are not as strong, I believe, as the normal Urukai. But they are also able to use bow and sword. That's pretty unique. And the graphics, I mean, also in the HD videos you have seen potentially before, the graphics are insane. Hopefully you will see a great difference between the HD and also now in the 4K resolution. Lourdes is looking like that. Ugluk is looking like that. Look at them, ladies and gentlemen. This is next level. Next, next level. We will need to get some more units before we move on. We have three power points collected. Uh, unfortunately, we can't use these power points just yet. I mean, potentially we can pick up the Stone of Orfang, which is pretty much like the Vision of Palantir we already know. It doesn't only uh, reveal the Shrouds, no, but also is making our heroes and units and combos and even uh, ballistas and war riders faster, 15% faster. That's a great and decent uh, movement speed bonus. Okay, so let's give them all, all bows actually for, for now. And whenever we need to, we can always switch to the sword. I mean, also Lourdes can be fighting with this uh, bow. Yeah, we have also cripple ability to keep a enemy hero pinned for some sword duration. This guy is only a swordsman. Ugluk. But he has leadership. No, it's not available with level 1. Hunt for the ring. There are elven warriors. Once again, we need to take them down. Let's use war chants first of all. To make our units a bit stronger. And in the meantime, we can also recruit some more. They cost 300 each. But there is uh, money on the ground. So we can get some more money. Which is nice. We are surrounded. But it's okay. We have war chanted Uruka <coughs> Urukai. My voice though. Okay. Let's keep fighting, and one of you guys can just pick this up. Lourdes is slowly but surely killing this unit, it's not a big deal. It's almost level 2, so we need to keep fighting here. As long as the Warchant is active, now we can even... Ah, actually we don't need to use I yet. Oh, what happened? Oh, Legolas! Look, what happened? <laughs> okay. Legolas has killed our guy. I was not paying attention, I don't know if he one-shotted him or whatever. I don't get it. But Legolas is a madman, he's level 4 by the way already. And now we have also 3 power points collected, we can go for the Devastation. And Unf ah, Unfortunately it's not available, it's, it needs to reload. So it's not like in the normal skirmish game, in which you pick it, it's available immediately. No, 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 that's not working like that. Devastation would be great, but we are command points capped anyway now. Not enough command points. And uh, that's a huge army here. I don't want to go there without a war chance, so ideally... You want to wait until your war chant is up. Uh, Curalty, I mean Carnage, is available with level 3. So we need to be careful. Lourdes is not going to be strong until he has Carnage available. Okay, we are waiting for the war chant. And once war chant is ready, we're going to use war chant on our unit. Ideally, we want to use on every single one of them. And if you're wondering how this is possible, I will show you guys how you can make it happen. Uh, if they would be able to switch to the um, shield wall formation, it's gonna make it a bit easier because the battalion size is gonna get smaller, but also this should be a possibility now. So let's group like that. And then we need to move down. I mean, we can't hit everyone, I guess. I was actually horrible. <laughs> okay, I take it back. You can also use now the Eye of Sauron to fight them. Lourdes has to be careful. Legolas can be crippled down from our uh, Lourdes. Kill him first. Oh, there's also Gimli. Oh, Lourdes has to be careful. They are not able to attack him for whatever reason. He's attacking our Lourdes. Run, you fool. He has chicken legs. 
Please kill these archers so they can kill lords. Very important. Yeah, I, was, I needed to stop for there for a second. We have to fight this still. Okay, we have also some units. Get the money on the ground. Uh, I don't mind losing units because... I mean, we can just throw this sword, I guess. Because it feels like it doesn't take any damage from arrows. So a couple of them can, can shoot him down. Because you can see not everyone is able to attack him. Lourdes has to recover, but we can just get some more units on the field because we got so much money from the ground. Ha ha! This guy is killing so much. He's like a machine. He's like a superman. He's level 4. He's running for his life now. Don't run. He's slow. He's slow. He can't disengage from us, guys. That's not possible. Please shoot him. Lourdes has crippled. Can now move on again. He's gonna die eventually, right? And if you also need money, you can kill the Trolley there, for example. This is gonna give you additional money. But Lord, uh, I mean, Gimli has been finally taken down. He was also taking ages. Uh, okay, take control of the summit of Amon Hen. Find secret allies. Level up Lord uh, to rank 2. Kill all heroes and the hobbits. Okay. So let's move on. Reinforcements have arrived. That's nice. Oh, they are chasing down the hobbitses. And these are a real Urukai, by the way. Oh, don't let them escape. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Are we gonna lose the campaign now because of that? Hopefully not. Uh, we lost the strong Urukai, unfortunately. If only now the pleb ones, the scouts. Okay. And we have devastation now. And watch now what's gonna happen. Pew! You see how much money we got? Just like that. Ugluk, though, couldn't even participate in the fight. Which is very unfortunate. But it is how it is. So we can now rotate once again. We have Warchant in the worst case scenario. We can kill this army, not a big deal. Okay, arrows. You can also pick arrows. You can make a great mix, you know. Some of them for the front line and the other ones. Okay, there are some Rohirrim. It's gonna be a challenge to fight them. Because our units are very vulnerable against Trample. So let's use War Chance here and also Eye of Sauron. For the maximum leadership. We have a bunch of damage now, but not that much armor, but it's fine. We have Lourdes also shooting. Nice. -o. Nice. -o. We got this. We got this in the bag. Uh, keep moving with the Eye of Sauron. Very important to maintain the leadership. And also keep making units whenever you can. I saw I saw a hero here, by the way. I want to I wanna use the Eye of Sauron to, to scout this area. Even though we are missing leadership. But there is Boromir. Level 6. Okay. So Lourdes is taking a lot of damage. They are focusing our Lourdes all the time. Uh, let's clean up this area first. Get all the money from the ground. And then we can... Maybe... I mean, I, I want to just take the risk, you know. Let's go in. We have so much money, but we can't use it. Because we are command points kept. Let's cripple him down. Maybe a little bit. We have no Warchan ability available. No eye is available. Okay, look, they are actually attacking our lords. And we are stunned. We are stunned. We are doomed. It is also Aragorn level 6. Uh, and Merry and Peregrine took. So we will be losing this army for sure. Kill as many units as we possibly can. And then we will be getting a new army. Because money is not a problem, as you can see at the bottom left side of our screen. And once we have the new army, we will have also war chance and almost eye back up. So we can just go for a big fight. And hopefully, this guy won't have his Horn of Gondor available anymore. And it's very unfortunate. We have no crossbowmen, no pikemen, and not even Urukai. We have this uh, weak Uruk scout. Uh, weak versus archers, monsters, heroes. So pretty much weak against anything <laughs> the enemy has right now. So what can you say? They have also no abilities, by the way. I don't know if this is like a unique thing for this one mission or if this is a general thing for this one specific unit from Isengard. But we can get one more. It costs only 30 command points. Oh, actually, we have still some units around this side. I didn't even notice that. One of them is level 2. That's nice. That's nice. So I didn't even send them all forward, I guess. Okay. So Warchan is up. And by the time we arrive around this side, we can also afford to wait a couple of more seconds for the Eye of Sauron for additional damage boost and experience boost. And again, that, that is able to stack with the Warchan, and that means in total we will have like 100% uh, more damage output, you know? Which is not bad at all, like, it's really good. Okay. Okay, let's, let's group all here, first of all. 
I mean, the problem is we can't use war chant on every single one of them, but we need to use at least on many of them. Okay, you cripple down Boromir, and we will use also Eye of Sauron here. Let's send some of them forward with the sword. And again, the level 1 units are afraid in a situation like that. We have no fear resistant, unfortunately. He's crippled down, Boromir. Uh, hopefully, we will be able to take him down eventually. Let's kill him first. He's level 6, potentially offers also leadership to the unit. So, we went, once we kill him, we are going to be in a good spot. If possible, I want to make sure that our guy is the one who's getting lasted. But I believe that's not going to be possible. Boromir is down. That's great. And also attacking our lords, by the way. So, hero focus is crazy. I... It's gonna be gone very soon. And I'm afraid we won't have the damage output to kill an Aragorn level 6. That's gonna be scary. Move, please. You guys, actually, you can also set a waypoint like that. So we can set a waypoint and say all the units are coming automatically here whenever we have enough uh, available for the... Wait a second. Uh, command point wise. Let's cripple them down so he can't move at least. Let's kill the hobbits first. Even these hobbits are so tanky. What is this? Level 1. Maybe Peregrine took. You full of a took. As Gandalf would like to call him. I mean, Aragorn can do nothing but watch. That's why Lurt is such a great anti-hero. <laughs> He's not able to do anything. He's able to watch only. Okay. But he's so tanky. Holy moly. Look, he's, he's, he wanna come to my Lurt. Let's dance around the Rosie. Can't touch this. They did it. it. <laughs> Can't touch this. You think you can catch me? More chance? Some of you guys can use sword, maybe. Look, this guy ignores everybody. To kill my lords. But I have cripple now once again. What what you gonna do about that situation? Some of the units are doing absolutely nothing. But uh, Aragorn is gonna die. And that's gonna be, I believe, the end of the mission of Amon Hen. Of course, Frodo and Samwise Gamgee were able to escape. This is like the remake of the films of The Lord of the Ring, The Fellowship of the Ring. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. It was quite fun. And sorry for the videos before. They were not in the 4K resolution for whatever reason. We are victorious, as you could hear, Saruman. I will see you next time. Until then. Oh my goodness, these foodies, they are angry. Roro, Sam! Until then, take care of yourselves and as always, stay beyond standards and keep hitting like a track. And also, follow me on my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards, for more content related on Battle for Middle Earth games, tournaments, events, and also commentary games. Again, see you next time, guys. Peace!